for Capricorn, this is a reading on your business or business idea. I like to do business readings because it helps people. I should have took that. It helps people succeed in their business or give insight and clarity on to, into what is ex exactly required to manifest um, success in your business. Or should you move on? Is it going to work? Is it, you know, I just like doing readings on businesses. So, what do we have here? Okay. And I'm going to pull some oracle for you as well. Just to give me insight into what this reading is about. So far, we have the five of swords, which is competition. We have the sun. We have the lovers. We have... The Four of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, two fives, um, and a ten. With this ten of wands on the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. And we have something happening very quickly with the Eight of Wands. I'm going to pull... All right, what was that? I'm going to pull Oracle for you really quick. We got Recovery. Hmm, interesting to see what that's about. So let me read these cards real quick so I can see what message it is that Spirit has for your business. And while I do that, I ask that you watch this quick video about the services that I provide to businesses to help them manifest success in whatever area they you desire. Be right back. I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with Spirit. I have the ability to communicate with Spirit guides that give me strategy, they help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with Spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new Job, if you want to manifest a new car, if you want to manifest more money, if you want to manifest more life, a divine partner, a baby, whatever it is that you are yearning for, allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals. I'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people, hit the link below. Thank you, good luck, and peace. What's up, Capricorn? So I read your cards, and I want to start with your Oracle card, Recovery. If you look at this, you see um, Spirit partnering with them as the key. You see that? It's the key to success in their situation, and I'll just read it verbatim. It says, Lilac offers detachment as you allow yourself to see the big picture. What once may have been immaturity is now about growing into a new partnership with spirit. Step back and allow the angels to bring healing to you. So um, that's kind of giving a clue into the theme of the reading. This is about, I mean, you have the lover's card in here as well. So this is about, you may be a spiritual person or have a spiritual business or a healing business or a spiritual practice, but it's, it's calling for you to partner with spirit. And this isn't easy. This isn't for the faint of heart. This isn't for a mundane business or person. This is a message for someone who is possibly into healing, into... Oh my God, my face is so fat. This is about a person who's into healing, who's uh, attuned to partnering with spirit is calling for you to do so in order to gain an advantage in this competitive environment. On the bottom of the deck, you have the 10 of wands. And we don't want to look at spirit as a burden, but this is saying, usually the 10 of wands is saying carry extra burden of responsibilities. But it's, it's saying it's not an extra burden. Spirit is not a burden. Spirit is blessing in God's grace. So what is calling for you to put in the extra work and to unify yourself, your own duality, so that you can partner with your higher and lower self, so you can partner with spirit in order to produce synergetic results and creativity and ideas and, and bring forth um, blessings into your business. All right, so the first part is the five of swords. The five of swords is telling me that this environment that you're in in your business, it's a very competitive environment. And um, again, if you 
are into like the law of attraction and spirituality, we see collaboration over competition. So, but your collaboration will be you and spirit. So instead of focusing on the competition, focus on unifying with spirit in order to manifest the desired results of your heart. You have the sun card clarified by the two. Of Sheesh. Which one did I grab? I just want to see. The two of wands. Interesting. You have the sun card clarified by the two of wands. This is calling for you to, again, unify. This is calling for you to reach the intended level of success, um, long-term success, vision, stability, by, again, unifying the, unifying the dualities of yourself. You're going to have to figure out a way to work in business using your higher and lower self as a guide or you're working together with your higher and lower self. That's what I do. That's what I have to do in my business practice. I have to, you know, unify or get to a state of where I'm using my spiritual gifts, my intuition, my higher knowledge, my higher self, and my practical self and my humanity both together in order to um, be who I am, manifest the level of success that I was born to manifest. <clears throat> who wears my water? Then you have the lovers. Again, reiterating the dualities of yourself, your divine masculine and divine feminine energies, your higher self, your lower self, your spiritual self. This has to be for a spiritual practice. This is this has to be for a healer. The recovery card is calling for your healing, but it's also you may also be a healer as well in some form. But it's calling for you to partner with all aspects of yourself in order to reach a level of success that you would like to reach. Again, it's a competitive environment, but that means nothing to you when you're partnering with spirit. Get to a unified place internally within yourself once you get to a place where you're co-creating with spirit and you're doing um, and you're operating in the way that you're supposed to operate with both the dualities of yourself. A breakthrough. You get a much needed breakthrough that provides a solid foundation um, for you financially and in your life. <clears throat> This is um, the Four of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Swords, which is breakthrough. Also clarified by the Death card, which is transformation. Once you get to a place where you are unified and you're working together with the dualities of yourself, you transform. So I was like, what is this Four of Pentacles? So sometimes Four of Pentacles can mean um, the number four, which is creating a solid foundation for yourself. And that, that's true, too. Um, but it also could attune to saving money, but it also can attune to being cheap. So I'm like, what is this Four of Pentacles? And they gave me the Death card and the Ace of Swords, which is transformation, which is change, which is a breakthrough. So once you get to a unified state where you're co-creating with spirit, you're using your spiritual gifts and your practical knowledge to bring it together to manifest results in your business, that is when you receive a breakthrough in your business. And then you have the Five of Cups and the Judgment card. Focus not on what you're losing. Focus on what you're receiving. Focus not on the past. Focus on the future and receiving. But the number five is the number of God's grace. And the judgment card coupled with the number of God's grace is meaning, listen, when you get to this place, when you bring it, when you first of all get yourself, because this could be for a self-practice. This doesn't seem, this seems like a business, like a sole proprietorship that somebody is working on with themselves, that they're providing like a healing service or something like that. But this is relying on you. This is more like you are your business. But when you get to a unified state where you're co-creating with spirit and you receive that transformation, that's when you, you receive and you up level. That's when your business will be taken to the next level. And at that point, you have an influx of ideas. You receive synergetic results. You, you know, you're receiving from the divine because you're working with the divine. You're working with their divine self and you're, you're bringing it to practical in a practical way that would create stability in your life, create um, judgment, meaning receiving. You put yourself in a position to receive synergetically ideas, financially, st stable, stability, and, you know, and there will be no competition for you because you're co-creating with spirit and who could compete with spirit? And it will be, it will happen quickly. When you co-create with spirit, and this is what they tell me all the time, when you put yourself in a position and you put the hard work in, you co-create with spirit, results manifest quickly for you. Because you're in the flow of the universe. You're 
vibrating on the frequency that you're supposed to vibrate on. You're in tune with the universe. You're going with the universe instead of going against it. And so results will manifest very quickly for you. So anyway, this is for a business who... Very specific message for a business, a sole proprietorship of a person working in the healing area, sector. <coughs> You're working in the healing industry. And um, it's calling for you to connect with yourself, both dualities of yourself, connect with spirit so that you can receive the results that you would like to receive, synergetic results, probably even better than what you think you can, you know, accomplish. When you co-create with spirit, you surpass your own expectations. So I hope this helps. If you would like a reading for your business, click the link in my, link in my description and I'll be happy to help you. I wish you love and light your business. Peace. Twitter.